this is the bus. Been working on it for probably about two years now. Got the Fantastics fan, which I'm not real thrilled about for the price. I, that little box fan way up there does more. But uh, my water tank's back here. I've got a single bed back here on a pedestal that opens up and allows me to store my gray water tank when not in use and uh, camping uh, materials and heater and so on and so forth. It's a Mercedes powered Thomas bus. It's a 2006 no, 2005, that's right. Uh, painted it uh, kind of a off green. And apparently everybody likes that because I've gotten more comments on just the color than I have the whole thing. Um, let's go inside. I've got handles on the outside. Um, that I can run a chain around when I'm storing it or not going to be in it all day. And I uh, just put a lock on it. Uh, it's an automatic. Uh, 124,000 miles on it. It used to be a sports bus for the school system. And they had racks all the way from one end to the other. Um, I kept three of them. The rest of them I sort of donated to other bus projects. I have a little storage area for my tarps or blankets. Fits a full-size couch in it. Uh, I've got a little kitchen table. Um, right now I'm just using fold-up chairs because I can fold them up and stash them up above. It's got a couple cabinets. Below, I have a uh, stove top, gas, cutting board built in, uh, water system for the sink. Uh, I have the power for the water pump right here, which serves two purposes. One, I don't have to keep the pump charged at all times. And that little blue light on there tells me that I left my power on um, the main 12 volt power system. I decided to store the propane underneath the tank or the table. Got LED lighting above the sink and stove, LED lighting um, above the couch. I've got some trace lighting that goes around for, you know, uh, just. A little ambiance, a uh, little TV. Uh, I've got a composting toilet that has a uh, exhaust fan built into it. I've got a quick disconnect so I can take it out of the uh, compartment. I've got a switch up here for the lighting that lights this up and turns the fan on. I have a Dometic refrigerator. It runs off of a 12 volt battery bank. I have six small 34 uh, amp hour 12 volt batteries under here. A little fan to keep the exhaust uh, flowing. Power meter telling me how much power I've got left. I've got light switches. All these are just toggles. Here's my power setup. I have an inverter that is toggled between shore power and 
uh, battery power to the inverter. Most everything in here is 12 volt except for the refrigerator. Uh, it just uses 12 volts for the uh, control circuitry. I have 200 watts of solar mounted on the top. I have another 200 that I can mount up there uh, whenever I get around to it. Uh, they're mounted to a grid system up above so I can mount different panels if I decide but for right now I'm just going to mount the same ones. Uh, the two more panels I have are 100s each. Uh, my water system got quick disconnect for the water pump. That's a 20 gallon tank and it, it, it sits loose but it's secure uh, in its, in its uh, surroundings. I put a cabinet in here which leaves me plenty of storage as you can see. I also had a bunch of belly pans or belly drawers from uh, office desks that I mounted to the bottom of this rack above the bed. So I got, I have some storage for odds and ends uh, in here and then I use Velcro, Velcro strips to keep them securely shut. Um, I think that's about it. It needs a little decoration, some paint, uh, but it's for that, it's about 90% 90, 90 finished. But, and that's about it. So, hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that uh, like button. And I've got a few more videos on my site. Feel free to subscribe. Thank you.